Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's second topic say it ain't so. Look. So, I was actually going to do a video on being so happy, so elated on the injury report um, that came out the other day, right? There was an injury report that came out, and every Raven fan you know, saw the injury report and was, like, pretty much celebrating. Reason why? Because there was only three names on the injury report. And as a Raven fan, we know that that list has been absolutely filled. Like, public schools filled to the brim full. So, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. And guess what comes out today? <clears throat> the other injury report. And I'm like, man, why does this one seem so much bigger? And I was just seeing bigger, the Ravens' secret weapon is on the list. You're saying, who's the secret weapon? Who are you talking about? Keaton Mitchell, a.k.a. Mr. Underle, Underle, Reba, Reba. For all the people, the 80s babies that used to watch Looney Tunes and the real fast mouse. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh. You know you remember. Hamstring. I repeat. Hamstring. Listen, I said, I came out of work. I'm sitting there checking through my stuff, and then that shows up, and I'm like, I can't believe it. There is no way. With Think about how happy and elated we all were. How delighted we were that the Ravens finally played a person that the that we fans have been clamoring for, absolutely clamoring for. And now that we have seen what he can do, now that he has put the whole league on notice, is now when hamstring issues want to come up and, and, and hinder him from practicing. And remember, hamstrings are the, some of the worst injury, injuries you can have for any athlete. Why? Because they linger. That's why. Do I have to? Did you have to let it linger? And they always come back like herpes. <laughs> oh. it, it, always, it always comes back. If you ever watch somebody with a hamstring injury, It'll be okay. They miss practice. They're a little tight during the game. They can't really, they, they're, they're still in the game, but they're a lot tighter, a little slower. Then they'll practice. Next game, they're out. They re aggravated it. And then they'll be like, all right, but let's hold them up for two games. So two games are out. They'll come back. All right, they make two or three amazing plays. Bop, pull a hamstring on the sideline, out for the rest of the game. That's the type of crap that happens when you have hamstring problems. Tell you the truth, for someone that used to run as much as I did, um, I never had hamstring injuries. It's crazy. N I never had a pulled hamstring. I had cramps, but never, never, ever hamstring. But this, this is bad. For somebody that is uh, elusive, extremely quick, who relies on those things, that is devastating for a type of player that he is. Devastating. So... <clears throat> It's looking more and more with all the... And remember, it wasn't just him on there. Odell was on there. Bateman was on there. This is a long injury report. I'm like, hey, yo. What happened at practice? <laughs> like, yo. Yo. Hey, yo. I was about to show up to Baltimore with the hand open. Be like, yo, what type... Someone fitting to catch the five... <laughs> the five-finger discount, bro. Straight up. I was... <clears throat> and... I want to say this. It comes at such an inopportune time, right? Because we're going to play on a short week, right? We're playing on Sunday, and then we play on Thursday. This guy is now looking like he is an added dimension to this offense. And if that hamstring causes any more headaches, he could be out for both games. It's just, <clears throat> looking at it, I'm like, of course, of course. As, Ra as a Raven fan, stuff like this happens so much, you start to ask yourself, bro, who put a hex or a curse on this team? 
and that's a fact. Like, you'd be looking at it like, bruh, there's no way. There's no way. I heard people on Twitter were crying because they, they traded everybody they could off their fantasy team. Them fantasy warriors, they was out there balling. As soon as they see what happened, they were like, oh. <laughs> bro, I'm dead serious with you, bro. I had, listen, go to Twitter if you do not believe me and look it up. People was just like, uh, alert, alert. Keaton uh, Mitchell, hamstring problems. Uh, questionable to uh, play in the game. <laughs> Them guys was on that like, no! But look, I, I want him to be healed. If he's not 100%, and because um, hands are so finicky, I would like them to keep him out. I'd like for them to keep him out. I really would. For anybody that's like, no, 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 no. I want them to play against the best defense in the league which is everyone now is saying the Browns, even though we already beat the Browns, and they said they had the best defense then until we faced them and it didn't count because it's technically an asterisk because we played them. <clears throat> um, yeah, I would rather just hold them out because here's the thing. As much as I think we could beat the Browns without him, that's the kicker. I think we could beat the Browns without him. The problem is, is that I don't want to use up whatever he has too early, especially with hamstring issues. I want him to be as healthy as possible. If you got to hold him out two, three weeks until that hamstring is chef's kiss, healed, sanctified, holy gold filled, water baptized, and working properly, then I want that man out. Not in the game, not nothing. I do not want him on the field. I want him healing. I want him in a recovery chamber like when Vegeta put Goku in it. Remember when they're in the Saiyan saga and they were on planet um, Namek? And he was just like, oh, Goku, here, I'm going to put you in here. Yeah, Kakarot, this should help you heal. And he was in that little that little thing. He was like, doo, 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 doo. he was sitting there like, you know what I'm saying, healing up. That's what I wish we had, but we don't. It's actually, man. Oh, God, this really makes me mad. I'm laughing because there's nothing else I can do but laugh at it. <clears throat> because it's always the most inopportune injuries that doom this team. Now, look, this could be a big nothing, but ha but it's the injury that got me. If it was a wrist or something like that, I'm like, all right, whatever. But a hamstring. Hamstring. That hamstring has caused other injuries and stuff. Because you start favoring the other leg. It is, it, th those hamstrings are such a bad injury because it just, it affects almost everything you're doing. Because it affects your flexibility, your burst, your explosion. All that stuff. The whole list of effects. It's not fair. It is not fair, bro. But this seems to be the boat that we're in. So I want to know in the comment section, do you guys think that we can win without him? And if you do think we, he, we can win without Keaton Mitchell, would you rather the Ravens sit him so he could get 100% healed or do you want him to get more and more playing time because we're playing the Bengals uh, next Thursday? Let me know down in the comment section, please, because I want to know. I want to know. I really do. <laughs> and this is the episode of The Wonder King Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonderkin Show's Patreon. Yes, the subscription service for the page um for the Wonderkin Show. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. It helps everything. The donations and that is what makes this show run. So that if you want to help, that's how you do it. And if you just want to donate, bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do, and the name of it is Money Sign. The Wonder Can Show. Super easy. Once again, this is The Wonder Can Show. This show is not just signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Yerp.